Hi, my name is Sachin Alex and I work with a technical marketing team at VMware. In this video, we will see how users can make the most of the dashboard feature available in VMware ARIA operations. VMware ARIA operations collects performance data from multiple endpoints, be it your physical data center, SDDC, or the cloud, and provides predictive analysis and real-time information about the same. This data is then represented in the form of metrics, alerts, dashboards, and reports. When you log into the VMware ARIA operations product page, you see the navigation bar on the left. The dashboard option falls under the Visualize tab. Users have the option to create and manage dashboards. Keyword searches can be done to quickly locate a particular dashboard. With the available out-of-the-box dashboards, users can quickly realize value from the product. Some of the key dashboards are categorized under Availability, Configuration, Inventory, Performance, Capacity, and Cost. Each of the pre-configured dashboards comes with a help page which routes the user to the VMware documentation. So, if at any point a user gets stuck in a particular dashboard, they can refer to these help pages. In addition to the pre-configured dashboards, the VMware ARIA operations sample exchange includes community-created dashboards, which can be downloaded and used for free. This is a very handy link as you will have references to some of the best dashboards created the world over. Now, let us open a dashboard and see how the components interact with each other and also check the other available options to a user. I will be opening the VM Performance Dashboard, which is available under the VM Performance tab on the home screen. This can also be searched using the Search tab. Now, if you see, Dashboard consists of widgets which are placed on the canvas. Widgets show information about attributes, resources, applications, and processes running in your environment. Widgets may be standalone to provide data. Upon selection of the right data center, the other widgets also get populated. Since this is a VM performance related dashboard, it is essential that user selects the VM for which performance needs to be monitored. This can be done either by scrolling down and searching for the right VM, or using the show toolbar functionality, the user can also type in the name of the VM. Upon selection of the right VM, the dashboard gets populated automatically. On the top right-hand corner of the screen, you see the dashboard time. Using this, a user can select a time frame for the widgets to display the data. This can be customized as per user's preference. Time can also be changed for individual widgets. Based on permission levels, a user can also perform certain tasks on VMs. Some of the actions a user can perform on the custom dashboard include editing it, deleting it, setting it as a dashboard's landing page, or setting it as the home landing page. If there is a lock symbol in front of a particular dashboard, it means only the owner can manage or edit it. Frequently used dashboards can also be added to favorites. You can see your favorite VMs under this particular tab. An important page which provides all the details about the costs associated with your VMware cloud infrastructure accounts, public cloud accounts, and your private cloud accounts is the cost overview homepage. Some of the widgets that you see here include total cost of ownership, potential savings, and realized savings. The total cost of ownership widget displays the cost expenditure by capacity, cost drivers, 
and by data center. Potential Savings Widget displays the amount of savings you can potentially make from your infrastructure, whereas the Realized Savings shows how much of the potential savings you have already realized. There are separate dashboard links to each of these, which gives you more details. Organizations are consciously working towards having sustainable operations. Virtualization helps in reducing power and also floor space in data centers. Using GreenScore, organizations can track where they are in their sustainability journey and how they are progressing over time. GreenScore is calculated based on five components, which are workload efficiency, utilization of physical resources, the extent of virtualization, power source, and hardware efficiency. Because each has a different impact on carbon emissions, weightage of each towards green score is different. Using dashboards associated with these, organizations can improve individual components of the green score. In conclusion, what we've seen in this short video is how a user can navigate around a dashboard, some of the key out-of-box dashboards available to a user, quick actions a user can perform on the widgets in a dashboard, and if stuck, how to find help using the VMware documentation and sample exchange.